GH for STEM Juniors Challenge. Here in the Upper West Region of Ghana, we have Joseph Fongna, a Form 2 student of Serepre RCJHS located in the Nanduri district. Joseph will separate a mixture of sawdust and water by using cotton, a funnel, sawdust, water, and a retort stand. Now this should be an interesting experiment. I'll start with Put the cotton wool. Use the stirring rod to push it to gently cover the whole of the funnel. The cotton wool should tightly block the end of the funnel. If not, some of the sawdust may sneak past. Place the container under the funnel. Pour the water into the sawdust. Use the stirring rod to sear it. Gently pour the mixture into the funnel. As you can see, the water drain into the container and leaving the sawdust inside the funnel. This shows that I have successfully separated the mixture of water and sawdust by the method of filtration. Filtration is a method of separating a mixture of insoluble particles. That is, particles that don't dissolve in water from a solution. This now the water and this the sawdust in the funnel. A mixture is a physical combination of solvent and solute. At the industrial area, when they are preparing beer, they pass some of the materials to using the filtration method. In our local setting in the Upper West region, when our mothers are preparing pito, they use this same method. My name is Luke Suglo Nyovere. I'm a science teacher at Sepere RCJSS of the Upper West region. Here, solid particles in water can be removed so that it can be made clean and safe for drinking. Filtration can also be used to separate the chaff in our food to make them clean and clear. Similar to what happens in cooking palm nut soup. It's time for Genial's Practical STEM Quiz. There are other separation methods such as decantation, distillation and more. If salt lumps are dissolved completely in a saucepan and left on fire for about 20 minutes, what will be observed? A. The salt will be recovered as lumps. B. The salt will evaporate together with the water. Or C, the salt will be recovered in a finer form. So now, you can try this at home, either by yourself or with your friends from school. Make a video or take pictures of your experiment. Ask your teacher or your parents to help you post the results of your experiment on social media. Tag We Go Innovate so that you can win some fabulous prizes. Don't forget to add your name and the name of your school to your entry and hashtag GH4STEM. You can check out any of our experiments at www.wegoinnovate.org and please leave a comment. You can also follow us on social media at WeGoInnovate or WhatsApp us on 055-406-6248. Good luck with your experiment. You can be a junior scientist too.